Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 2 raised to power 1 over x. This is equal to 16 to power x. What is the value of x? Now, let's prevent a solution here. So, we can express square root of 2. Remember, if you have square root of a, this is the same thing as a raised to power of now we have that square root of a, this is the same thing as a to power half. So let's apply this property so that now we have 2 raised to power half raised to power 1 over x. This is equal to 16 to power x. The next step from here, we have that 2 to power half raised to power 1 over x. This is in the form of a to power n raised to power m, which we can express as a to power n times m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to power, this is 1 over 2x, this is equal to 16 to power x. From here, we can express 16 as 2 to power 4. So this implies here we have 2 to power 1 over 2x, this is equal to 2 to power 4 raised to power x. The next step from here, we have 2 to power 1 over 2x, this is equal to 2 to power 4 times x, this is 4x. Now, since the bases are common here, that is a to power n is equal to a to power m, this implies that n is equal to m. The exponent n is equal to m. So from here, we have that 1 over 2x. This is equal to 4x. So let's multiply both signs by 2x, here by 2x. So if you simplify here, we have that 1 is equal to 4x times 2x. This is 8x squared. So we can write this as 8x squared, this is equal to 1. The next step is to take 1 on the left hand side, so that we have 8x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now here we have 8x, now here we have 8x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. We can express 8 as 4 times 2 times x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now, this implies that we can express 4 as 2 to power 2 times 2, then times x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. We can express 2 as the square root of 2 squared. So this implies that we have 2 squared times 2, which is the square root of 2 squared, times x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now we have 2 squared times square root of 2 squared times x squared minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now we can express this as, this is 2 times square root of 2, times x, then everything here, squared, subtract 1, 1 can be expressed as 1 squared, this is equal to 0. So this implies that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which, which is the difference of two squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. From this equation here, we find that a is equal to 2 square root of 2x, and we have that b is equal to 1. So this implies that a plus b in this case is equal to 2 square root of 2x, then plus 1. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a minus b, this is equal to 2 square root of 2x, subtract 1. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. 
Now, let's solve equation 1. We can call this one case 1 from here. So we have 2 square root of 2, x plus 1. This is equal to 0. So this implies here we have 2 square root of 2, x plus 1. Let's take plus 1 on the right hand side. So this is equal to minus 1. So here, let's divide both sides by 2 square root of 2. Here by 2 square root of 2. So let's simplify here. So that now here we have x is equal to minus 1 over 2 square root of 2. Now, the next step here is to rationalize the denominator here. Let's multiply it by square root of 2, the denominator. And let's multiply the numerator by square root of 2. So that now here, x is equal to minus square root of 2 divided by, now we have 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2. This is square root of 4. And this implies that x is equal to minus square root of 2 divided by 2 times square root of 4, which is 2. So we have 2 times 2. And this implies that x is equal to minus square root of 2 over 4. So this is the first value of x, that is x1, is equal to minus square root of 2 over 4. Let's solve case 2 from here. Let's solve case 2. Case 2, we have 2 square root of 2x minus 1. This is equal to 0. Let's take minus 1 on the right hand side so that we have 2 square root of 2x from here. This is equal to 1. Let's divide both sides by 2 square root of 2 and also here by 2 square root of 2. So let's simplify here so that now x is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 2. The next step here is to rationalize the denominator. This means that we multiply here by square root of 2, numerator the same by square root of 2. And therefore we have that here x is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is square root of 4 in this case. So we have x2 is equal to square root of 2 over 2 square root of 4. So this implies that x2 is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2 times square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And therefore, we have that x2 is square root of 2 divided by 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So therefore, x2 is equal to square root of 2 over 4. And therefore, the solution here, we have that x1 is equal to minus square root of 2 divided by 4, or x2, which is equal to square root of 2 over 4. Now, this, these are the solutions to these math problems. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.